intro. What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Neo Bands, back with another tutorial. And today I'm going to introduce you to the tool that I use probably most often in Photoshop, which is the selection tools. We're going to edit this photo here of Michael Jackson on his toes, you know, doing his iconic dance pose. And I'm going to show you how these tools work with it. So we're going to go ahead and tap the Photoshop icon to open the app and a quick way of opening the photo would be to go ahead and click on import and open here in the bottom left hand corner i'm using my apple pencil um, it's very very useful when it comes to photoshop and illustrator on the ipad this is an ipad pro and it works really really well with it and so i'm gonna tap that and tap photos then i'm going to search for the photo that i want to import and open and it automatically creates the canvas size um, to match the size of the photo along the left hand panel we see the toolbar and we're going to focus on the third from the top which is the selection panel or the where the selection tools are and if you press and hold on the selection tool you'll see the menu of all the different kinds of selection tools that exist the first tool is the lasso tool and the lasso has settings that you can slide to adjust the feather which is the um the outer the the outer edge of the selection how many pixels outside of it do you want to expand this feather setting? And if you have it on zero and you make a selection, it'll pretty much select all of the, uh, as tight as possible to the pixels that you uh, draw over. If you set the feather settings a little larger, it actually won't even work that well because not enough pixels are actually getting selected because of your feather settings being too high and if you lower the feather settings back again you'll see that you'd start to get your selection back and you can see that's a more smooth selection than zero pixels which will give you pretty very close to the job you did of trying to make a perfect circle but if the settings are a little bit gentler, you can get smoother selections like so. And as far as the selection box options that you have, the top option, once you begin drawing another selection, it will eliminate your previous selection and just draw the new selection. So that will just continue to draw different independent selections. This next option will add to your previous selection. So if I draw another, another selection, it will add to that previous selection. Press undo here on the screen if you wanna go back a step while preserving the uh, selection setup that you have. Um, or you can double tap the screen. It really is just like a one, two with your fingers and right on the screen and you'll undo. Um, and I believe three is redo. If you tap with three fingers, you will redo. So two is undo, three is redo. The next selection option that we have is the subtract option for the lasso tool. So if you are using your Apple Pencil like this and you draw, it will subtract now from your selection, right? And if you wanted to um, have some sort of intersection between the uh, selection that you have on the screen currently and the next selection that you're gonna draw, that's what this last option is for. So we have this funky shape and let's say I just wanna do the intersection between this and this, it'll leave the difference between the two. 